Do you want to see C code on a C64? Well then you should see this video. C is a high-level programming language created by Dennis Ritchie in 1972. Over the years, it's made its way to many different systems, including the Commodore 64, which is the one we're going to talk about today. In this video, I'm not as much going to tell you how to actually code in C, or I talk about the history of C. I'm more just going to be showing you how to code in C on a Commodore 64. So let's get right into it. Something I want to mention before we get started is that compiling code on a 1 MHz processor does take a while. So I definitely recommend if you have something like the CMD Super CPU uh, using that because it definitely speeds things up. Fortunately, I don't actually have one, but Vice does emulate it, and it's not where you'd expect it to be. It's actually a separate executable. It's not in with the uh, cartridges in the settings menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And the IDE we're gonna be using is called PowerC from Better Working. That's from 1986. Loading into PowerC, you are greeted with a command prompt. There are various different commands we can type here to access the different functions of the development package, as well as there are a few others, like typing L will give you a directory of the disk. Before we can start writing our C code, we have to load an editor. We can do that by typing ED or typing CED if we want syntax checking. More on that later. And we can type that and press enter, and it takes a minute to load. Now that we are in the editor, we can start typing our C code. And it won't be long until you run into a bit of a problem. The Commodore 64 character set has no curly braces and there are no curly braces on the keys. So how do you type curly braces? Well, the Commodore 64 character set can be redefined. So they have redefined two of the graphics characters to open and close curly braces and they can be accessed by pressing shift in conjunction with the plus and minus keys. As well as the English pound sign has been remapped to a backslash. If you're using the Vice emulator, you'll need to change your keyboard to positional, and then you can type your curly braces. When we're done writing our C code, and we want to compile it, we hit run stop. This will open up a little command prompt at the bottom, and we'll first need to save our program. We use the put command, so we're going to go put, hello world, and we need to add the .c extension as well as the device number for the drive we want to save it to. After that we can type quit which will take us out of the editor and back to the shell. Once we are in the shell we can type cc followed by the file name that we want to compile in this case hello world.c and here's where the super cpu really comes in as well as if you're on the vice emulator you, also, you might want to go down and enable the warp mode, which makes the CPU emulated CPU run faster. This combined with the um, Super CPU really speeds the process up. It's fine on a stock 1 MHz system, but it, this definitely helps speed things up. Next we'll need to link an object file, so by doing that we'll just type link. It takes a second, then we type the file name followed by dot o, so that will be hello world dot o. And then after that, we'll need to type an up arrow, which tells it to include the standard like library stuff. And then it'll prompt us for an output file name. I'm just gonna do hello dot sh, and that dot sh basically means we want to run it in the PowerC shell. I'll show you how to compile programs so that they'll run in like the regular Commodore 64 prompt uh, later on. So we can just type hello here and it will print hello world and it ran our little program there. So pretty cool. Next I want to talk about the syntax checking. So here's a little program here. And I'm going to intentionally create some syntax errors just to show how this works. Uh, this only works if you have the syntax checking editor loaded. The reason why you may not want to have this is because it uses up RAM and you may need that RAM working with very big project files. But anyway, you start the syntax checking by typing uh, 
check at the little prompt you get when you hit run stop. And it goes through and it scans our program and it tells us if we have any syntax errors. And uh, yeah, it's definitely not like super detailed, but it definitely helps. It's definitely nice to be able to check for these things before we compile our program. Now let's compile this program. We're going to do that by CC again. And we're going to go through the same process that we did before. Except this time, when we go link, we're going to add a dash S. This will run, load it into basic RAM, and we can run it outside of the PowerC shell. Something we can also do here is specify a memory address we want our program to be loaded into. It has to be in hex, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to load it into standard basic RAM. And uh, yeah, and then when we get to the part where the output file, we do not need to put the .sh. And we can exit the editor by typing by. Let's load our little program here. And there we go. So anyway, that's just about it for uh, Power C for the Commodore 64 and compiling C code on a C64. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was, I didn't talk about everything Power C does, but this is everything you need to know to sort of get up and running. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.